Piyastar, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Ah, yes. Uh, actually, Piyastar, our principal sir will join us shortly. That's why we were waiting. Absolutely. Absolutely no problem. Absolutely no problem. Okay. Yes, sir. Shall we start then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, today, today the uh, last day of semester five students yes, lecture. Yes, sir. Yes. So start it. Yes. I will. Uh. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So a very good morning to all our participants. As uh, our principals had just mentioned, that today is the last day of for the semester five of this ongoing special lecture series. And today we have with us uh, our speaker, Professor Piyas Chakraborty, Associate Professor in English, Bagdan College. Uh, and and uh, with with lots of effort, our principal sir has finally joined us. 
So now over to you, sir. So good morning, uh, my dear students. Good morning, Monimesh. And special thanks and morning to yeah. Really have done a uh, splendid job towards the support of the students. Uh, as a teacher, you are doing so. We never forget you for your support. I think the students also are benefited. Not only the students, I came to know some teachers are also heard your lecture and benefited from the lecture. That's a good thing. Actually, the collaborative work in the direction what NAC also required for the teachers' collaboration. Thank you, peers. And my dear student, you go forward, look forward. Uh, this is a venture only towards the academic collaboration and go through your Google Classroom. Please go through your Google Classroom and you will get the link of the feedback form today. And you must fill up the feedback form because we want to know something from you also because as per your need, we will design our lecture also. So thanks to my students and I hope you will be a great human being in future and thanks to Piyas. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank so, you for your proceed. kind words. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, once again, I want to remind our students, please fill up the feedback form. Those are necessary. Uh, for our future endeavors and now we will proceed to our actual section uh, and today's speaker as I have already mentioned that uh, speaker is Professor Piyas Chakraborty and he will be talking on short story. Over to you Piyas. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Ramkrishna Prashad Chakraborty and thank you Animesh for the kind words. Now without much ado let me go into the topic. Today's topic is very interesting. In the course of your preparation so far, you have already read quite a few short stories. But today, we will be going into the theory of the short story as a literary type. If you look at your syllabus, your DSEB1, there are three literary types in your syllabus. First is a tragedy, first is tragedy, second is comedy, and the third one is short story. If you look at the syllabus, you will see that within tragedy, there are four kinds of things that have been specifically mentioned in your syllabus. They being the tragic hero, catharsis, heroic tragedy and chorus. If you look at comedy, again you will find that there are four kinds of comedy that have been mentioned specifically in your syllabus. Namely, romantic comedy, comedy of humors, comedy of manners and sentimental comedy. But in the last category, short story, there is no subdivision. There is only one thing, short story. And I want that to be the starting point of our discussion. Why is there no subdivision? Why is it just short story? For the simple reason, you cannot subdivide short story into different sections because it is so precise an art form that you cannot afford to do that. Now, I want to start with a very interesting point. You see, when you look at tragedy, we know that it started, it originated in, you know, in the ancient times, maybe in, in Greek literature, maybe even before that in the rituals of human culture. If we look at novel, then we all know that the rise of the novel happened in the 18th century, although we have uh, certain basic novel-like things written before that also. But when it comes to the short story, it is only with the modern age that the short story comes to the forefront. And I want to ask you, why is this so? I mean, theoretically, a short story cannot be more difficult than writing a novel. So writing a short story cannot be more difficult. And yet, it developed at such a late stage. The reasons, I believe, are three. Number one, the rush of modern life. Tennyson called these great novels, which he enjoyed, great still books. But you see, that still
stillness, that time, that leisure, so important in reading of novels, unfortunately was starting to move away, starting to be starting to get eradicated from the modern existence. Therefore, we needed an art form which would be shorter. Hence the name short story. It's a story which is short. Second point, it is a story. That is something. We have already dealt with short. Now the second part, story. See, the desire for great literature is still there in me. I no longer have the time to read a novel, but I want to read good literature. And therefore I need a story. So the desire for literature is still there. Hence, I need to develop a special form of writing which will satisfy that desire within the limitations that I live with. Third, the immense development of the magazine. And as you can understand, a lion's share would be given in most magazines to stories that are complete in one issue itself. So while there was a space for bigger stories or novella or even the novel within the magazine where you have that to be continued structure but a lion's share in the magazine would be given to the short story which would be completed in one issue itself. And I believe these three reasons coupled together to bring about the rise of the short story. Does that mean that the short story will replace the novel? No. Resounding no to that. Why? Because we will never be able to get into short story all the things that I can get into a novel. For example, I cannot exhibit life in its variety and complexity as is possible in the case of a novel. That is not possible in the short story. Also, by the same principle, I cannot bring about the evolution of character that I can bring about in a novel. Because I don't have the space for that. Now, therefore, we have to come to a definition of the short story. So, we understand now that a short story is different from a novel. That much is understood. We have understood that the short story will never replace the novel. But how do I define a short story? It's a very complicated problem. Because although we have taken up each word, short and story, the obvious question that you can ask me is how short is short? Where does it qualify into a novel? A very difficult problem to face. As a working suggestion, let me take up Edgar Allan Poe's very famous definition, which probably all of you know. That is a short story is a prose narrative that requires from half an hour to one or two hours in its producer. There are two points. One, it's a prose narrative as opposed to verse. Number two, it should be something that I can finish up from half an hour to two hour time span within that period. I'm not saying that this is a watertight definition. There are different variations possible. I'm sure there are short stories which might require a slightly more time also. But as I said, this is as a working definition that works pretty well. Also, from the same idea, a short story should be a story that can be read in one sitting. I should be able to read it in one sitting. Now, we have already seen, therefore, that short story is different from a novel. Let me place these two forms together and immediately quite a few points will become very, very clear. Number one. A novel cannot be abbreviated into a short story, nor can a short story be expanded into a novel. Boro novel take a comedilam short story hegal or short story take a bariadilam novel hegal. This will never happen. This cannot happen. This will no this is not possible. Because the novel deals with incidents progressing with cause and effect interrelation through a series of climaxes towards an ultimate solution. You could argue it is the modern counterpart of an epic. Its object is the grand totality of life. Tale onigulo climax leading to a final solution 
and it tries to look at the grand totality of life. But what about short story? I mean, the short story can they? Then what are the features? A short story exposes a situation embodying a mood. Its aim is to comprehend the unity of that mood. Unlike a novel, therefore, it does not admit a large number of characters nor a variety of interest. So I could argue, whereas the novel is expansive, बड़ो को रे देखा नो, the short story is contracted, छोटो कर, and the more it strays from the center, the less does it conform to its style. So it has to stick to one point. The moment it strays, it will become a less of a short story. It will not be a good quality short. Judging its relation to other forms of narrative art, it can be said that a true short story differs from a simple incident. Mathai rakho. A short story is not an incident because it makes use of suspense from the sketch. In that, it has action moving towards an end. That an incident is one incident. Acta khoto na. Short story will take off from one incident and move towards a particular conclusion, move towards a particular end in a methodical manner. Therefore, it is not an incident. It is different from the novel because it presents only one crisis, one momentary unit of life. It cannot have many climaxes like the novel has, so that is not possible. And it is different from drama in the sense that it may completely dispense with dialogue if it wants. To. No dialogue, no drama. But in a short story, there could be dialogue, or there may not be dialogues at all. Also, the scope of the drama, again, much like the novel, is much much larger than that of a short story. So. we have already argued that a novel cannot be abbreviated into a short story and a short story cannot be expanded into a novel in other words as the story differs from the novel in length so must it differ from it in motive plan structure three critical words motive plan structure it must vary from the novel in these three points now let us pick them up one by one you see though the short story has to deal with incidents it must be very very selective about this because after all the incidents are not the end of a short story they are only a means a means to present a particular vision that the writer has in his mind so too many incidents will take away from that vision therefore we have to be very very critical about how many incidents or what incidents i will choose so what therefore the incidents will present it will present the dominant mood that the writer wants to present so the subject of the short story must be one that can be adequately and effectively developed within the prescribed limits very important amar subject ami emon kichu choose korte pari na which cannot be developed within my prescribed limit remember my limit is i need to write a story which can be read within half an hour from half an hour to 2 hours within that time span so i cannot choose as my subject something which will require a much much greater time limit for me to develop therefore whatever is the theme and object a story should leave us with the conviction that even if nothing would have been lost at least nothing would have been gained by further elaboration khub simple short story ta porar pore je kon tomar jodi mone hoy aro kichu dile aro bhalo hoto then it's not a good short story a good short story should give an impression that it has said all that it wanted to say within this prescribed the limit of its format it should impress us absolutely clear in outline it should be well proportioned it should be full enough for that purpose without the slightest suggestion of crowding and within its own framework complete khub shohoj bodo beshi incident eno na it will become a crowding impact abar emon koro na je at the end mone hobe aro kichu thakle bhalo hoto it should not give that impression that is the necessary point of being a good short story tale it does not mean 
that a short story must be only confined to one event. It could have more, but I will be very, very choosy. For example, it may cover a wide field of time. আমরা সবাই ছোটবেলায় একটা গল্প করেছিলাম রিপ ভ্যান উইঙ্কল ইফ ইউ গো টু ওয়াশিংটন ইরউিংস রিপ ভ্যান উইঙ্কল উই হ্যাভ দ্য টেল অফ এ লাইফ টাইম বাট ইয়েট অ্যাজ ইভেন দ্য লিস্ট ক্রিটিক্যাল রিডার উইল ইনস্টিংটিভলি ফিল দি এফেক্ট ইজ গ্রেটলি এনহ্যান্সড বাই দ্যাট কনসেন্ট্রেশন অফ ইন্টারেস্ট উইচ ইনেভিটেবলি রেজাল্টস ওয়েন সাচ এ সাবজেক্ট ইজ পুট ইন টু সো স্মল এ স্পেস and in particular by the fact that all extraneous matter is allowed is not allowed to intrude between the moment of rip van's falling asleep and his wake or the rip van ghumie porlo ebong shekhan theke she jaglo ei moddhi khane kintu ami kono kichu anbo na which will take away from the concentration that the writer wants to give that is a very very important point so i should be able to keep the focus of my reader on my top in the same manner if we look at mopasas you know masterpiece la passion it is talking about years in its scope but the focus is on a single motif and the entire story turns on that by doing that although we are talking about a large frame of time i am able to keep the concentration of my reader on my subject that is very very important now having talked about incidents i need to talk about another thing characters is it without characters there cannot be any novel any short story any drama we need characters but this is an important point characters play an important role in a short story since it's impossible to conceive a short story without characters but the exposition of the character is not its main function as it is in a novel so character ke limit korte hobe khub beshi take exposition er shomoy dile cholbe na i cannot give a lot of time to the introduction of the character because i do not have that time i do not have that scope also characters must be very well linked with the raw material therefore large number of characters ruled out tale incident com characters com another fundamental motive of a short story is unity and this is critical it should have one logical conclusion which is developed no scattering of attention can be permitted in a short story if that happens then the short story will lose its power tale we could argue singleness of aim and singleness of effect effect are two very important points of a short story আমার পারপাসটা কি আমায় মাথায় থাকতে হবে আমার এন্ডটা কি আমায় মাথায় থাকতে হবে ইফ আই ক্যান ডু দ্যাট দেন আই উইল বি এবল টু রাইট এ গুড শর্ট স্টোরি আদারওয়াইজ দিস ইজ নট গো টু ওয়ার্ক এন্ড রিমেম্বার অ্যাটেনমেন্ট অফ দিস ইউনিটি ইজ এ ভেরি ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট থিং অ্যাজ এডগার অ্যালেন পো হ্যাড ওয়ান সেড এ স্কিলফুল লিটারারি আর্টিস্ট হ্যাভিং কনসিভড উইথ ডেলিভারেট কেয়ার a certain unique or single effect to be wrought out to be brought out invent such incidents and characters which will help him to bring out that mood tale the short story writer first conceives of the mood and therefore he carefully chooses the incidents and the characters which will help him to bring this out so there must be a pre established design in the head of the of the short story writer he cannot digress too much he cannot move away too much and therefore he must be constantly focused on what he wants to present therefore we have to get that end picture very clear in our head when we are trying to write a short story everything that is superfluous redundant must be done away with ami jeta bollam scattering of incident hole hobe na ja kichu dorkar nei bad dao even in order to do this i have to be very very careful because remember a technical defect may be overlooked in the novel because of its expanse but it will not be overlooked in a short story it will be a disaster so i now have to then go on to the next stage tale kuchu ki rules ache ami definition pela structure ba ni alochona korlam tale kichu rules ache je gulo manli ami ekta short story korte parbo now remember it is an absolutely impossible thing to do 
there can be no abstract rules because there are so many different kinds of short stories just as there are so many different kinds of novels but certain principles must be applicable and they are applicable to all forms of art please remember if novel tries to mirror life short story tries to mirror a moment therefore the moment has to be isolated from all that is irrelevant and only we should focus on that everything that is strictly necessary for that moment to be brought out there is no scope for excursion now let us talk for a moment as to what the short story writer would do ami to nana bhabe tar hat pa bene dilam ami bollam you cannot write a short story which is too big in length ami bolchi beshi incident anbe na ami bolchi beshi character anbe na ami bolchi ekta moment er upor focus koro i am saying that you should know what you want to achieve and then slowly move towards that so complete focus is very very important in a short story and i'm also saying that if you make any mistakes here it will immediately be a glaring error in the case of a short story tale how will the short story writer overcome all of this let me give you one small example one of the ways in which a short story writer gets over this is what through what is called the effective use of symbols symbols or symbolism play a very important role in short story uh, there is a story called arabi by james joyce which talks about the fall of a young boy from innocence to the world of experience through the process of adolescent love ever mone rakhbe if the author wants to talk about this in great detail it will be very very difficult for him to maintain the restrictions that are inherent to short story so what does he do he shows us that this boy lives in a house which has got a garden with a central apple tree anybody is the somewhat familiar with classical literature european literature english literature will immediately know that a garden with a central apple tree is basically symbolic of the garden of eden and we all know adam and eve ate the apple the forbidden fruit in the garden of eden and therefore fell so without even going into great detail james joyce successfully tells us through the use of symbol that a fall awaits our hero now therefore these symbols are of critical importance and the symbols must be carefully chosen just like we talked about incidents and characters these symbols must be the ones which will essentially focus my attention on that say for example if i want to create a story where i want to bring about a happy ending where i am creating a happy atmosphere then even in a rainy day i would probably show a rainbow but if i want to create a story with a gloomy atmosphere and on a rainy day i show you a rainbow it will go against the grain of my story and therefore it don't work r l stevenson said as far as he knows there are only three ways of writing a short story number 1 you may take a plot and fit the characters so initially you have a plot in your head and then you choose the characters to fit into that plot number 2 you take a character and then choose incidents or situations to develop it first ta ami age plot niyechhilam she onujayi character choose korlam second ta ami age character choose korlam she onujayi amar plot ta ke choose korlam or lastly you may take certain atmosphere and then choose actions and persons to express and realize it tale prothom ta plot ditiyo ta character third ta atmosphere or mood ei gulo ke mathay rakhte hobe these are very important things while writing a short story according to r l stevens and yet all forms of art be it novel be it drama be it short story must have a certain structure we all know that there must be opening situation ja ke amra boli prologue there must be complications there must be tension of the climax there must be resolution and then finally the denouement ei panch ta jinish amake astei hobe without these five things i cannot have art so i will have a short story in which the opening situation must be able to present my initial points but 
there should be nothing in this unnecessary in it it should be intelligently presented by focusing on a particular point next there should be the complications that is the very important part the integral you could say the heart of a short story after the complications we must go to the resolution through significant twist where very often symbols play a great great role so the plot must develop a crisis and then lead to a resolution the crisis should be inside the plot and its chief contribution should be the development through a creation of suspense and finally relieving that suspense so that finally a short story writer should be able to give the impression to the reader that he has gone through a moment of crisis seen a moment of crisis and reached its final resolution with all that can be said with all that can be done finally the what should be the object of a short story it should be able to say everything that it wants to say tale short story writer ke ki ki jante hobe how much to express how much to suppress and the exact point of aesthetic interest a shomosto structure if i can maintain all these structures a then and only then will i have a short story which is worthy of being read how do i know whether i have created a short story which is good enough very simple i will have to look at the at the at the response of the reader are my readers happy with it here let me take you back to the classical period longinus wrote a very very important text many of you will probably go on to read that when you do your masters which is called on the sublime peri sublime on the sublime sublime as we all know is superb art perfect art is called sublime now the important question therefore is what is sublime how is something good what do i call good very simply put longinus says it must pass a simple test the test of time bahu bochhor dhore loke porche ebong bhalo bolche now short story originated in the modern period and we have just now come to the post modern so unfortunately i cannot talk about a short story that has been enjoyed by people for 500 years or 600 years i cannot talk about say something like macbeth written somewhere between 1602 to 1604 because all my short stories are originating from the modern period then how do i call a short story a good short story simple it should have the impact that is necessary on the mind of the reader for the reader to be able to understand and appreciate that he has read something that is of great quality and great value so we need to probably change the definition of sublime a little bit and say sublime is not only something that passes the test of time but something that is able to move the reader to an extent where immediately after reading it you kind of understand that this is something that will appeal to a lot of people through the expanse of time we have not yet seen that expanse but somewhere deep inside we should know that this is going to be an excellent piece of literature so it should have that impact inside how can it have that impact inside me with all its limitations ki ki limitation com incident com character beshi exposition noy all that is unnecessary should be left out very simply put it must focus on one mood and bring about everything that the author wants to bring about that single mood in the best possible manner if this can be achieved then it is a good short story if it has not been achieved if after reading the short story you feel aro ekটু bolle bhalo hoto then the short story writer has not been successful in presenting everything that he or she wants to present in a nutshell this is what a short story is now if there are any questions that you have in mind please feel free to ask tomader taru jodi kono proshno thake 
regarding a short story or any aspect of short story, please feel free to ask. Any particular point of the short story that you don't understand, that is difficult for you to follow, you can ask whatever doubts you have regarding the point. Onimesh, it seems yes. they have no queries. It seems all their queries have been answered. <laughs> Actually, uh, I just want to make a discussion with you sure. uh, on the context of short story. Sure. Do you think, that, uh, yes, uh, do you think a short story as a genre hmm. is the most authoritarian genre? Authoritarian. Well, that's, yeah. an interesting, that's a very interesting word to use, authoritarian. Well, I wouldn't say it is authoritarian, but I would definitely agree with you on some to, to some extent because you see, short story with its all its you know restrictions brings about a kind of necessity for the author to very carefully stick to his point. And if you mean by authoritarian that strict, you know, the regimentary way in which he has to focus, he or she has to focus on his subject. Then, of course, it is authoritarian. But please remember, even the short story as a genre has now started to vary to a great, great you know, We now have, even within the short story, various kinds of developments happen. And since, as I started with, you know, when, when, I, when we begin our discussion, I told you that short story is something that is here to stay because people will become more and more busy probably with time. Even today, when most of us are stuck in home with our online lectures, with our online classes, with our online transactions, we can see that the busyness of our life has not been. So the sick hurry and worry of modern existence is here to stay. And it is here with us, even the postmodern. I have a feeling that it will be with us for a long time. So the short story will also develop in different ways in order to cater to the needs of my reading public which will change with time and my, therefore my, my, my form will also change with time. Yes, partly it is authoritarian because that is the demand made on it by its very characteristic. Yes, I think and uh, Alice Munro got the Nobel Prize and uh, this is what we can think. Uh, hmm. it's, it's a sort of emergence of short story again into the uh, history of literature, into the genealogy of the uh, literature. I, I, I think so. I mean, uh, after a long time, a short story writer has been provided uh, a, a Nobel Prize. This is quite interesting. Yes. Uh, Washington Irving's uh, Clippy Hollow would indeed qualify also as a short story. However, it will probably be a slightly digressive kind of a short story. If any of you have any other question, because I know, you know, this. Yeah, there is a one question. Uh, see, novels will not, not lose their relevance. As I told you right from the beginning, to think that at some point of time, short story will become the focal point, will replace the novel, that is not going to happen. Because the short story will never be able to get within it the complexity of the novel. That is an impossibility. That cannot happen. So the novel will retain its readership and we have seen the flourishing of novel even in this era. There have been so many novels that have been read that, have, that, are, that are holding its position. In fact, if I talk about certain, you know, very, so let's say if I go into fantasy literature and if I talk about the Harry Potter series, that was probably one of the most eagerly awaited series among young readers and also among older readers. So we can see that if the novel is a, of a quality 
if we talk about novels which are really you know they do justice to their art form they will not lose their relevance i think no further question here uh yes it seems so okay uh, so can you wrap up this now uh if the students have nothing further to ask then of course yes but uh, one thing is very important for the student please go to the chat box and uh, fill up the feedback form as well this is very important for us yes because that will allow us to plan the next series of lecture yes yeah one more question no no see short stories are not all short stories are published in the form of collections only when we have a significant number of short stories successful short stories coming from a particular writer can we have a collection or we can take a particular brand of short stories and make a collection but short story are published in a stand alone manner in journals please remember i cannot afford to bring out uh, i cannot afford to publish a single short story that is not possible but i can have short stories in journals so stand alone short story is not going to happen it's not going to work out so so no so easily okay then any more question of course you see it gives us khudito passion does not leave you with the feeling that you want more it is essentially the hallmark of a good short story that it tells you that if only something more was there if you would think about khudito passion you think about the fly you think about the arabi and at the end you are not left with a sense of displeasure but with a sense of thinking you see there is a very interesting point that is made by a critic he says how do i differentiate between a short story and a novel a novel is like walking on a long corridor with rooms on either side and i enter one room and i come out of it i enter another room i come out of it and finally at the end of the corridor there is a door through which i enter now putting this into the structure of the novel essentially i have many incidents equated by the many rooms eventually leading to a final resolution to a final conclusion but a short story is like walking through a small corridor at the end of it there are a large number of doors wait opening for or waiting for me which i will enter would completely depend on how i perceive the short story so a short story would have multiple possibilities i'm not saying multiple endings but a multiple possibilities and a reader will kind of feel in fact if you read a good short story your perception of that short story will change with time tomar understanding of the short story will change with time so khudito passion is an extremely successful short story because it makes you think it has an open ended structure which is what rubindra tagore said when he meant when he said shesh hoi yao hoi lo na shesh even when it ends you have a feeling that it has not ended that is very very important that is the hallmark of a good short story any other any other question if you have otherwise onimesh will probably wrap up the session yes i think uh, there is no further question okay, okay. so so uh, 
uh, we are actually ending this series of lectures, especially for semester five. And thank you, Professor P.S. Chakraborty. Thank you for uh, your positive response and initiating the whole program. Thank you once again. So thank where you. we call this session off. Thank you. And student, please fill up the fill up feedback form. This is very necessary. Okay. So thank you, everyone.